hello and welcome so this is what you are going to make right here it's uh, simple easy and quick so um, let's get started first things first let's make one right here in the view tab you you have a shadow then you go to shadow quantities just click on it and that's what you mostly will use we're gonna make a shadow about rooms just click on the rooms click ok and that's all you need to do now this window pops up now you can select which fields that you want to see in your uh, shadow so the fields that are on the right you will uh, will appear in your shadow and on the left they won't uh, appear on the shadow so we're going to use area then we're going to use name but if you don't um, see it immediately just you can just type in it name there we go then we're going to do number it's right behind it then we're going to oh, write it then we're going to use level voila now all these fields here on the right uh, tab this will be included in the shadow now if you want to be uh, or orientated different right here you have a button and then you can uh, change the fields in any order so we're gonna change the number to first right here then we're only gonna use name uh, no level second name and then area and that's all you need to do to make a shadow just click OK and the shadow will appear so as you see here um, this is quite tiny well first tip that you can do is just hold the control key and use the uh, wheel on your mouse and just scroll so you can make it bigger like you see here so that's really much better to read so the next question is how to add fields after you make a shadow well the good news is you don't need to um, remake one right here if you click on the gray space you have here shadow and then you have fields just edit and then you can just add some fields uh, for example we'll add volume then we're gonna maybe uh, base finish and they are in the right order just click play and they will appear right in the shadow so that's quite it to get a shadow in uh, rivet now the next things that we are going to do is of course um, resize the columns and uh, group them and other stuff so for example if i want to do that i do a different approach i will use a sheet just double click on the sheet we're gonna undock it right here then just put it on the right if we it once right that's quite okay then we're gonna use our or select our shadow right here room shadow just drag it on the sheet click on it and there we go just zoom a little bit more in now why do I do it in the shadow because if you want to resize them here it's not quite the same on the yeah on the sheet that's why it's better to use a sheet next to your actually shadow for if you can if you want to resize it you can do it right here just drag and leave it but on the sheet you can do it also by this arrow keys you can just move it like here the number then we go to the level voila then we go area can be a little bit less volume also and now we can resize the columns you can do it all the way also by just clicking on the a column and right here you have resize just click on it and then we're gonna use uh, resize it to 10 millimeters and voila there we have it now for example this right here is <laughs> quite ugly and we have this um, double uh, text that we don't want well very simple we can change that by just clicking in the box selecting the text and then we're gonna use uh, number voila same for level we're gonna use lvl voila and that's how you do it and that's much better now we're gonna rename uh, to voila and then we're gonna use 
copy key and then we can resize it a little more voila same for the rooms and there we go but now if you have those fields in and you don't want them anymore just go to fields again then select base finish and here on the red arrow key you can remove them same for volume and voila there we go the rooms that we don't need uh, are gone and that's as simple as it is well let's group some columns well very simple you just click then drag it till the columns are black and right here you just can't uh, you just can group them and then you can put text on it just grouped voila but the next thing that you see right here this text is aligned to the bottom and to be don't uh, want it or at least I don't like it so I will change it to the center and uh, or middle whatever and there you have it that's already looking better now we group this uh, columns but uh, if you say hmm, I don't want it anymore just right here you can just ungroup it and then it leaves right as it is now for the next thing when we are talking about grouping you just can group your rooms um, from level 1 to level 2 now they are just fine and standing right behind but they are too sticky I just want some white space so you can see clearly what is level 1 and what is level 2 so how do we do that right here you go to sorting and grouping at the bottom you're gonna say sort by level then you have a uh, just gonna a, do a blank line just click OK and voila now they are separated by level if you want the totals by level well very good we go to sorting and grouping again then we go to footer um, hide the blank line else you have you will have a double row I don't want that then we're gonna do um, count and totals only uh, then we're gonna do on the last one oh, we'll leave it so we so you see the difference just okay and oh nothing happens or just those numbers that we are not really much with it only says this is five rooms on level one and seven rooms on level two yeah don't really it well the problem is if you uh, want to calculate those uh, totals well you go to formatting and right on the area right here there is no calculation so we set it on calculate totals click OK and voila there you have it now for the rooms I like to add one column more like the percentage and I really like it it's really handy to see how much room occupies uh, the building or which room uh, occupies the most in the building for example how do we do that well we go to fields again then we go to we go to area select area then we're gonna make a parameter we're gonna use uh, the name that you type here will be the name that will appear right here on the top so we're gonna say it percentage percentage voila. Oh, capital letter then we're gonna do it oh, no discipline uh, percentage by area and grand total click OK and voila there we have a second column by the percentage but the next thing I want to uh, calculate the totals also so we go again to formatting instead of area we go to percentage and right here the same no calculation oh, calculate totals okay and voila for the rest like here right here we don't really need anymore so we're gonna hide the fields and don't remove it because if we remove it we have a little problem later on and you will see why in a minute so we go by uh, formatting again we go to number and right here we're gonna say add field for the level uh, hidden field sorry add field <laughs> I'm gonna hide the field click OK and now they are gone now this number I want to be gone also we go to uh, um, sorting and grouping not counts but only totals 
and for the grand total right here for the, all those uh, numbers in total we just use grand total and only totals okay and voila that's our that's actually how easy it is now the next thing that we are going to do is um, a filter by room so for example if you only want to make a shovel only by level uh, one so we're gonna use a um, rooms level one well the next thing that we're going to do is only to show the rooms on level one so we only want those rooms so we go to filter right here voila then we're gonna uh, filter by level of course equals to level one but first I want to uh, uh, hide this and only use grand total because we don't have this space but I want to sort it by area of course so for example voila so we sort it by area and only rooms that I want to see are the rooms or level one now I'm gonna duplicate a view duplicate view Voila. and of course control and scroll and then we're gonna do it by level 2 voila this will be better I will put it on the sheet also so you can see the difference now we're gonna only work in level 2 so you can see the difference about level 1 and level 2 uh, on the sheets so we're gonna color the columns and the textiles and so on so first things first again you click on the gray space because we are in the sheet now and now we're gonna do again with filters and instead of level one we're gonna use level two click OK and there we have it so we're gonna group it again and make the shadow more beautiful so those two I want to group and name it area like this oh sorry area like this um, this text I will align into the middle and that looks uh, quite nice now instead of um, um, resize the bar horizontally you can resize it vertically right like you see here it's now on this and we will uh, set it to thin voila and the next thing that we're going to do is add some colors and of course um, resize the borders and the other cool stuff so the first thing that I want is just um, to align this in the oh, to align this in the center and I want to align this also in the center so it's more beautiful and I will make it a little smaller like this also for the rooms voila that looks way much better I'm gonna resize it more to eight yes that's uh, a little better the next step that we're going to do is um, go um, yeah put some colors in it so how do we do that very simple right here we go to shading and then you just uh, choose which color you want just click OK and that's uh, gray for exam uh, same for this one uh, go use gray now for the area we're gonna use the same color gray and I'm wondering why you don't do that uh, in one time because you can't only horizontally you can do it in one time for example we're gonna go to shading and this and voila this is uh, quite uh, nice the next thing that we're going to do is add the textile and get rid of this blank line or space white space and add the borders so where do we find that very simple you go to appearance then we go right here blow uh, blank row before data click OK and now that's gone for the appearance again right here on the tab we're gonna use thin lines now for the outline right here this outline box we're gonna use um, maybe three or four 
let's use four so you can see it clear here and voila that's uh, a thicker uh, border for the shadow now the next step is of course uh, change um, the text styles so go again to appearance now the title of the text will be the biggest so we will use 2.4 then the header text will be 2.0 and the rest will be 1.8 click ok and voila that's already uh, better and now again uh, right here we see the grand totals and uh, um, areas and percentage from the rooms only on level 2 so you see already much difference how how nice you can make uh, your shadows but at the gray it's a little bit repressing so I will use um, this color right here or maybe no nah. I will make it a, a little bit more beautiful for you guys all right this also um, shading right here voila this right here shading and now for those two I will use a lighter color like this voila ah oh, that's looking very better we don't use we don't gonna use two tick line we're gonna use a subtle two mm, no. we will use three oh not a minute gonna use a uh, tree voila and this looks already better for the next thing you can also you uh, use here some colors so we go again for the appearance and now your first try pro we can uh, gonna use it right right here and voila and that's how you do it mm, it's maybe a bit too dark <laughs> I will uh, change it uh, like this voila and this will be better so we can read it better now that's quite it guys this is how you uh, make a uh, nice uh, shell i hope you enjoy it and uh, please don't forget to subscribe or like or share the video thanks for watching and see you in the next one